Hi, this is Kerry Artab with Wicked Stocks, bringing you your daily Tesla report for Thursday, May 16th, 2024. Where to begin? I think I'm going to start with the big picture. I've been jumping right to the near-term outlook, and I see these are our two parameters here, really. Uh, for those of you who want to buy or sell the market, um, you know, I'm not a big fan of the 139.96, but I can't deny that that trend line held, and we were watching it at the time. Uh, we didn't expect it to hold for more than, I think, a day or two at the time because we were kind of in a sell signal mode at the time that that trend line was testing. Uh, and it was really, and there it was, the region where we were testing it. This is back in April. We gapped up, we gapped higher on an earnings. We gapped higher again three or four days later on the China announcement for automated driving. Uh, but then we've been falling away ever since. And so in terms of the directional dynamic, um, you know, you can see how the market is prone to giving back uh, these fundamental, these news-driven uh, buy signals. Uh, we did actually close back below this channel top uh, three or four days ago. And we're back above it now, but, you know, not by a wide margin. I don't want to sound like I'm incredibly bearish Tesla, but it does have the behavioral dynamic of a longer-term bear market. You know, you can see that right here. We've got lower low, lower high dynamic as we've been, you know, trading since the July high. And uh, you can say that we are in a longer-term bear market uh, by one measure anyway, below 224.26. So the question is whether or not we expect to see 22, 224.26, you know, in the coming days, in the coming weeks, actually. And the answer to that is I'll jump to this a daily chart here, would be a settlement above 199.54 and then within one to two weeks. So I'm taking it very stair step on the way up. And right now we have 179.79. Solid day resistance. I can zoom in here on this chart. This is the stain daily chart, but opened up a bit. We came pretty close to testing this on Wednesday's open. Uh, it is a level that is an upward pivot point into next week. If we can close above 179.79, 199.54 is likely. Within, I'm going to say, a full week of activity. Could take a little bit longer. Could take the better part of two weeks. But I think uh, if we close today, for instance, above 179.79, I do think by the end of next week, we should reach 199.54. This extreme channel top, able to contain buying on a weekly basis, possibly by that point through the balance of May. We could fall away from here, not significantly, but, you know, I think we could fall away from here perhaps for more than just a week, possibly several weeks. And we'll be watching at that point in time what is showing up in the chart in terms of, you know, trend dynamics. We will have new channel structures, new speed lines, so forth and so on. So we'll just take it one day at a time. But bottom line here, closing above 179.79 is a three to five day uh, swing trade buy signal to go long, stay long uh, through the weekend into next week, 199.54 expected over that time horizon where profits can be taken and short entry made uh, on a three to five day, possibly a two to three week sell signal. And we'll be watching it at that time to see what you might expect on the sell side. And of course, if we were to close above this 199.54 formation, as I've already shown, we have another one to two week buy signal up to 223.34. 34, which is the this formation also on the daily chart. The long-term bear market from the July high of last year remains intact below 223.34. Now to the downside. Let me jump back to this chart. We've got 179.79 uh, that can contain daily buying pressures and possibly on a three to five day basis as, I, as I've been mentioning. So you can trade this level possibly on a three to five day uh, swing trade basis, uh, being short, going short below 179.79. Uh, we can, I think, anticipate uh, over the next, you know, um, I don't know, three to five days, perhaps 160.03. 160.03 is shown on this chart represented as a horizontal line. But it really is this descending channel bottom that you can see that is sort of the sister formation to 179.79. So selling 179.79, solid day trade resistance, uh, and also three to five day swing trade resistance being short below 179.79 will keep 160.03 in reach over the next three to five days. I don't think that's a stretch. Dropping daily, able to contain session weakness. On the way down, we do have 168.39, that former long-term channel top. You know, that's sort of the fact that I'm only calling this an intraday support is sort of underscores my lack of confidence 
in this particular formation. You know, I like it when they hold well. And this one got pretty sloppy a little over a week ago. We even closed below it, threw off a sell signal, closed back above it the very next day. Yes, it is definitely a, a valid day trade level. A day traders, especially aggressive day traders, can trade this. But I wouldn't be surprised, not necessarily today, but over the next day or two, that we close once again below 168.39, which would then clearly indicate this 160.03 within just another few days. But I do think 160.03, if we're unable to get up and over 179.79, that formation we almost tested on Wednesday, uh, that I do think this market wants to, if you will, continue south over the next three to five days to 160.03, uh, where we can bottom out on a daily basis, possibly on a three to five day basis. We could trade inside of this uh, really a 160.03 to 179.79 formation. That is nearly a 20 point wide structure uh, that uh, we could trade inside that all the way through next week and even into the following perhaps. And yes, if we were to close in the coming days below 160.03, that 139.96 level uh, becomes a, um, a one to two week objective. 139.96 is a long term trend line that held the lows about a month ago. It is It stems from the March 2020 COVID low against that uh, January 23 low. And, and so here we are. Um, and in terms of bottom picking 139.96 to go long, I'm not a big fan. I do think we can hesitate once again. I'm not saying we're destined to violate this. It's just that as we test it, you know, I'm skeptical of its ability to contain selling for more than a day or perhaps another week. But I wouldn't be surprised if on the next attempt, we actually take it out. Closing below 139.96 would then signal within three to five weeks a return to the 101.81 January 23 uh, low. So there is that. Uh, I do think I've said it all. I'm going to comb this chart. I'll just uh, once again give you the heads up that if we close today above 179.79, we should by the end of next week reach 199.54. That is our next go with buy signal to the upside on a three to five day basis where we could top out uh, possibly through the rest of May. Uh, holding below 179.79, however, we'll keep 160.03 in reach over the next three to five days where we can bottom out on a daily, possibly three to five day basis. I'm going to leave it at that. Please click like, share, subscribe, and check out wickedstocks.com. I'll be back tomorrow with Friday's Tesla Report. You have a great day.